ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, as you can see, that's Prince. And he's meeting on PBS's Tavis Smiley's show. And he's doing an interview, a two day interview. So this thing lasts for about 50 minutes. However, there's a story that he tells, and there's a reason why I'm showing this particular video. I have listened to it. I've listened to this part that I'm about to play, but I haven't listened to it, and I'll explain that in a second. So they're not going to like this that I'm showing this, but I'm not the only person to show a video on my video. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, enlarge, and let's let Prince speak in his own words. I think you're going to appreciate it. In everything. You said something that's very interesting, is that I could have turned out a mean person. Uh, I do have that side of me, but what I try to do is I, to the best of my ability, funnel it back into the music. Um, Larry Graham is a dear friend of mine. I just want to say what's up to him and Tina and Aaron and Latia. I'll be home shortly. Um, I'm having a lot of fun out here, though, so uh, <laughs> I, uh, I just wanted to say something. Larry has got a volatile side to him too. He told me a story once. I hope he, Larry, I got to tell this. Is a, I just got to tell it. <laughs> One time, Larry and Freddie from Sly and the Family Stone mm -hmm. are on their way to a gig to open for Jimi Hendrix. Now, right then, I'm shaking, can't wait to hear what's about to go down. On the way to the gig, they pick up some of their amplifiers and their car is loaded with these amplifiers, right? Um, it's hard to see, but they're driving and they're late trying to get to the gig. They either hit this guy or a guy runs into them, but there's an accident, <laughs> right? In right. the middle of the street in New York. Larry jumps out the car, whoops this dude's backside. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> Le Freddie's with him, you know, they both from Oakland, so you know what time it is, right? <laughs> I, I don't even want to see what that dude look yeah. like. Okay, so it's like he got that side to him, mm -hmm. right? And I just, I was just taken by that part of the story. But then I asked him, I said, so when you got to the gig, like, what happened? Wh who won the battle between you and Hendrix? And Larry said, oh, we spanked him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait. You spanked Jimmy Hendrix? Yeah. Said, yeah. I said, it's Larry Graham, man. Yeah. You know. So it's like, same thing with him. If you listen to his music, you can hear the bass and the, the the funk, the the anger, mm -hmm. is in songs like People and Water and It Ain't No Fun to Me and stuff like that. You know. So. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That's Prince and his interview with Travis, uh, Tavis, excuse me, not Travis, Tavis Smiley. Uh, we're going to be talking about this in a second. Now, the reason why I'm showing that interview, because in that interview, Prince goes ahead and he talks about, pay attention, how they're using chemtrails. Now, that interview was 19, uh, 2009, but how they're using chemtrails to control people, anger, haven't you noticed? Uh, I get a lot of uh, Telegram showing a lot of people being angry, throwing. I get a lot of videos on TikTok that I have to skip through because I can't stand them, where people are just shooting people just to be shooting people, pulling guns out, pointing guns at people. Ladies and gentlemen, this wasn't happening in the 80s. This wasn't happening in the 90s. Oh, yes, it was. You were just in the wrong neighborhood. Your mama was in the wrong neighborhood. This was not happening in the 90s. It is definitely clear that this is a different age. There's nobody on this planet that can convince me that this is just like the 90s or just like the 80s. Because I don't smoke crack, and I don't want to be around anybody who is perceived as smoking crack, because if you're thinking like that, you must be smoking something. I apologize. As Prince was just saying, um, he spoke about Larry Graham. Larry Graham is... At the time that that incident happened, he wasn't one of Jehovah's Witnesses, but Larry Graham is one of Jehovah's Witnesses at this time and has been since, I think, 1975, okay, which is well after Jimi Hendrix, that Jimi Hendrix uh, concert uh, where they were going against each other in the battle. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that 
all of us have anger inside of us. The nations, the peoples who control things are playing on that. They want us to be angry because the more anger we display, the more they're going to claim that there's a need to increase security. There's a need to increase peace. And thus they're going to roll out these programs and these weapons. They're not going to call them weapons. They're going to call them deterrents. New York has just talked about a surveillance AI police bot that they're going to put in the subways. A surveillance AI police bot. Imagine that. You see, they're going to say that there is a necessity, a need to have greater surveillance because of all the violence. We've got to protect the public when they're the ones causing the damage. So let me tell you about a prophecy. This is Luke. Luke, I am your father. The 21st chapter, verse 25. It says, also, there will be sign in the sun and the moon and the stars, and on the earth, anguish of nations. Anguish. Hmm. Oh, I am just so vanquished by all of this, and it's just causing me a great deal of anguish. Not knowing the way out because of the roaring of the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, when the Bible speaks of roaring of the sea or agitation of the sea, and its agitation, people will become faint out of fear and expectation of the things coming upon the inhabited earth. For the powers of the heavens, the so-called governments of the earth, will be shaken. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on right now on this planet was predicted more than 2,500 years ago. 2,500 plus years ago, this was said. No, 2,500. No, no, 2,000 years ago. Sorry. Uh, Got to get it right because this was in the first century. And so we're only in the year 2,200. So 2,200 years ago. But either way, this is what was said. That this is the state that we would be in. So in that interview, you will hear Prince talk about chemtrails causing that to happen. Look outside. Look at how angry your neighbors are. You know those kind people when you first met them, you didn't realize that they had that type of anger in them? I mean, they were nice. They were kind. But now they are angry. Now they're yelling and screaming. And it used to be that there was that one family that they were always yelling. But then the next day, everything would be cool. But now several families are all yelling and screaming and joining together and yelling and screaming. Now we got youngsters going into convenience stores with machine guns and other guns and breaking into people's houses with guns because they feel powerful. How do you think they're getting these guns? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the manufacturers are proliferating that into the community. They make a lot of money off of illegal gun sales. They make a lot of money off of illegal gun sales. And the youngsters, they don't mind going to jail. That gives them some credibility. Oh, you murdered how many people? Oh, man, yeah, this one, this, yeah, he's going to be a shot caller eventually. That's the jail scene. This is our world. Y'all need to be prepared. Y'all needs to be prepared. So, again, that was just that interview with Prince, but you'll find so many other people talking about this, but we're going to give you the gist of why they're doing it. They need to increase security. Now, we're going to do one more thing. Give me a second. I have to pause, y'all. All right. Let's get this straight, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, I got to turn off the voice recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an image over... What's the name of that? South Africa. And I want y'all to pay attention. You see that sun right there? That's the sun. And you see that right there? That's supposed to be an aerial phenomenon. Now, I want y'all to pay attention because it's important. I did a video on this and it came out chappy and crappy. And YouTube is probably going to block this one too. But 
ladies and gentlemen, do not pay attention to stupid videos like this. This one is very stupid. I want you to look. That sun is up in the sky. This is about 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay? 5 o'clock in the afternoon. There are no clouds in the sky, so there's no reason for street lights to be on and headlights to be on. These are headlights. Street lights. Lights on in buildings. There's no reason for those lights to be on. Hold on. Okay, but the sun is up there. Uh oh, now the sun is over here. Sun is here and the sun is there. What the? <clears throat> but, ladies and gentlemen, they're touting it as if it is a real event. Again, headlights are on. Their headlights are on. The sun is in the sky, but it's in the sky twice. What universe is this in? What parallel? See the sun all the way over here now. It was over here. See how it's moving? The sun is moving with the frame. So watch the sun and look at the sun move. How is it possible for the sun to be moving in a matter of seconds? It don't shake like that. Not jello. Mm -mm, jello don't shake like that. Look at that. Sun just moving all over the place. And, oh, let's see two suns. Ah, look at that. There's another sun. Two suns in the same sky. A parallel universe. In reality. And they actually, people are actually giving this video to others. As if this actually happened, ladies and gentlemen. There is no parallel suns in the sky. There is no suns in the sky during the day and then headlights on. So that's a doctored video. Don't fall for it. Look, you are supposed to believe in theories of conspiracies. You're supposed to believe in the fact that something is not right. I mean, Keith Sweat said that it just wasn't right. So, ladies and gentlemen, something ain't right. Something just ain't right. So, just wanted to share this with y'all. Under 13 minutes. Gotta go. Have a good day. Goodbye.